What is up everybody? It's time for another episode of Sam Arcade. Hi, I am Sam and I welcome all of you to my channel. In this amazing video, you will learn about how to install Hyperland's latest version 0.28.0 on Debian 12 Linux. And I am going to teach you how to install latest version of Hyperland with dependencies and packages along with some additional tools and tips. Let's take a look at preview of Hyperland running on Debian 12. Let me tell you one thing, Hyperland is still in its early stage of development. For this tutorial, I am going to use a fresh install of Debian 12 Linux with XFC desktop environment. And I have a request, if you guys like my content, then please consider subscribing to my channel. So let's get started. Open your browser. Then search Hyperland. Click on the first link. Right click on the install Hyperland button and open it in a new tab. Then right click on Ubuntu Guide link button and open it in a new tab. Now copy the build dependencies. Now we need to add some additional dependencies named HW data, check libgtk 3 dev. Lib system D dash dev X valent and kitty. Then hit enter to install. Now create a folder and name it whatever you like. Change the directory to the folder. It's time to download and extract the source of Hyperland version 0.28.0. Our next package is Valent Protocol version 1.32 Now repeat the step for Wayland Use tar space dash xvf to extract the tarball. ball 
our next package is lip display. Open to new tab, then search GitLab lib laptop and GitLab lib input. Copy the lib laptops GitLab repo. Make sure Git is already installed on your system. Now clone the lib laptop. Now go to the live inputs tab. Copy the live inputs GitLab repo. Then clone the live input. It is time to compile and install these dependencies on our system. Now copy Wayland's build script. Paste it then hit enter. For valent protocols, change the directory to valent protocols directory. Then paste the script to install the latest version of valent protocols. The next one is lib display. Type sudo apt install edit dash decode. Copy and paste the script. Copy the Mesa build script. Change the directory to libliptops folder. Paste the build script. Change the directory to the build folder. Then type sudo ninja install to install the lib laptop. It is time to compile and install the lib input. Change directory to lib input. Now create a symbolic link between locale.h and xlocale.h. Then type mason space setup space dash dash prefix equals slash user space build. Type ninja space dash capital C space build to compile the lib input. To install lib input, type sudo space ninja space dash capital C build space install.
Now it's time to compile and install the Hyperland. But first install one more dependency named libgbm-dev. Then type sudo make install to install the hyperland. It looks like hyperland is properly installed in our system. Now add hyperland inside Wayland sessions so our display manager can recognize the hyperland. Type sudo make directory space slash user slash share slash valent sessions. Now type cd space hyper dash debian dash v 0.28.0 slash hyperland dash source slash example. Copy the hyperland.desktop file and paste it inside the Wayland session folder. Now log out to check if hyperland is available or not. Select the hyperland, then log in. Hit super plus Q to launch the kitty terminal. Now open hyperland's config file to fix the resolution. Disable the auto generated warning. Remove preferred then type your monitor's resolution. Remove auto and replace it with one to make your primary display as a default display for hyperland. Currently, I am changing rounding from 10 to 5. Save it and exit. Now it is time to edit the kitty config file to get transparency and custom fonts. Hit Ctrl plus Shift plus F2 to auto generate the kitty config file. Edit kitty config file to change the font and font size and transparency. For the font size, I am going with 15. The background opacity option is responsible for the transparency of your kitty terminal. Change it from 1.0 to something that you like. This option is at the very bottom of the kitty's config file. Save it and exit. From now on, the customization of Hyperland is endless and it's up to you how you are going to customize your Hyperland window manager. Now I'm going to install the Waybar and Woofy. Open Hyperland's config file then uncomment the exec-1 section to execute the applications that you want to launch. Webar is already at this section. So save it and exit. Again log out and log in. Look, now we have Waybar at the top. You can also change the position of Waybar if you want. 
To change the configuration of webr, we need webr's config file. Change the directory to the .config folder. Then make a folder named webr. Copy the webr's config from slash etc slash xdg slash webr to dot config slash webr. Now we are going to edit the webr's config file. Remove the double forward slash. Now in the modules dash left section, change sway to wlr. I don't know but for some reason workspace are not working in hyperland. Next in the modules dash center section, change sway to hyperland. As you can see, so many icons are missing and we need to fix this issue. Log out then log in to see the changes. Hit super plus r to launch woofy. Now launch firefox and search vault haven. Click on the first link. Choose wallpaper for your desktop. I like this one. Rename it something simple. Before downloading, let's make a folder inside our home directory. Then save the wallpaper inside that folder. This time search sway bg and click on the first link. Copy the URL. Clone the repo. Copy the build commands. Change the directory to swybg. Now install SC doc for the successful installation of swybg. Paste the build commands. Before executing the command, type setup between mason space build. Let's test swaybg. As you can see, swaybg is working properly. Close Firefox window. Open hyperland.com to add swaybg to set your wallpaper. Type swaybg dash o backward slash star space dash i space forward slash wallpapers forward slash your wallpapers name space dash M space fill. Now we need to add a widget to manage our network. Type and to separate the applications. Now type nm dash applet space dash dash indicator. Save it and exit. Once more log out and log in to see the effect. Aha! Now we have Woofy, Webar, and SwayBG. Now we have a network manager applet and now we can change our network from here.
open firefox then search nut font and nut fonts cheat sheet I am going with Arimo Nerd Font. Choose a font that you like. Now search GitHub Nerd Fonts. Click on the first link. Open the install.sh file. and copy it now change the directory to downloads folder create a batch file named install.sh then make the batch file executable now open the file then copy and paste the batch script inside it Now create a directory named patched fonts. Then move aremo.zip inside that folder. Then change the directory to patched fonts. Use the unzip command to unzip the content inside a remo.zip. Now execute the install.sh file to install the nut fonts. And we have a success. And this is how you install the individual nut fonts. Now go to cheat sheet tab. This page will help you customize your waybars icon quickly. Now open the waybars config file. So many icons are missing. For example, this thermometer icon is missing. I can just search these icons and then paste them inside my waybars config file. Now watch how I am going to change the icon. Change every missing icon or replace them by just searching their name. Save it and exit, then log in and log out to see the changes. Now we have every single icon that was missing. To change the brightness, install brightness ctl. Install LSD, the alternative of ls command. Search Brightness ETL, then click on the first link. 
Now head towards the bottom of the read.md. You can change your brightness from here. See the example. And look your brightness has now changed. You will not see the changes because I am currently recording. That's it for today's video. From now on customizations are endless and it depends on you how you are going to customize your Hyperland window manager. This is not the ending of this video. This is the start of Debian 12 and Hyperland Rise videos on my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this then make sure to hit like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss out my latest videos. And if you have any kind of feedback or suggestion then feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.